Hi, I'm here to talk about building container images at scale with cloud-native build packs. And when I mean scale, I mean companies like Salesforce or Roku that have to build millions of container images a day. My name's Terrence. I'm an architect at Salesforce working on the Roku product, and I'm one of the co-founders of the cloud-native build packs project. Cloud-native build packs is a cloud-native computing foundation incubation project that takes your application source for source code and turns it into container image without the use of Docker files. Um, and what you get at the end of it is an OCI image that maps logically to your application. And it is well structured because build packs are these shareable units that can take advantage of the things that you want to put into your application without needing to artificially copy and paste the things that go into a, a Docker file to get what you want. Um, Build packs themselves are modular units that can encapsulate all the concerns of a technology uh, like a Java, Maven, Python, Node, etc. And so this allows uh, application developers to focus on building their applications, um, as well as uh, platform operators to focus on actually operating the platform. And Build packs themselves are composable, so they can be combined together to just to build the application layers on top of your base image uh, as they're executed by the build pack platform. And so platform operators can focus on uh, maintaining a very few set of base images. So you don't need to, for instance, have your Java version of, say, Ubuntu 24, right? 04, uh, or a Python version. You can just have that one distribution of that base image of what you need to support. And the build packs will handle putting all the application layers on top. Um, and this helps us create a bunch of organizational efficiencies by letting the different areas of your company focus on the things that they do best. Of course, this is a talk about scaling. So when we talk about efficiency, we also need to talk about performance efficiency. So how many times have you had to do a thing with Dockerfile where you've made a small change, whether it's in the Dockerfile itself or in your application, like it's a single line, and you realize you've busted a bunch of application cache layers, and you have to rebuild almost the entire application. Uh, this can take minutes, potentially longer. Um, and with build packs, we have this concept of advanced caching that we actually leave that up to that build pack author who's creating those composable build packs. And Take, for example, I'm building a Node.js application. Um, I'm adding a single or a set of Node modules to my application. And if you're doing this in Dockerfile, you need to actually throw away you know, that entire Node modules cache layer. Um, but with build packs, it's up to the build pack off to decide when they should or should not do that. And in most cases, you're going to want to reuse that Node modules layer. So you can just add those new mod Node modules to it. Um, but let's say you're upgrading your node version and the node ABI has changed. In that case, it would make sense. So the node build pack would throw away that node modules cache. So you're installing all your node modules fresh. Um, and that allows us to make sure that native extensions that are, are going to be built against that node ABI of the new node that you're bringing into your application. Of course, this is a single application. And most organizations are dealing with a lot more uh, OCI images uh, inside the organizations. Uh, and then you have to keep all these things up to date. And probably the most inefficient thing that you can do uh, in Dockerfile is having to update your base image underneath. In Cloud Native Build Packs, we have this concept called rebase. And we're able to actually make changes to the OCI image manifest, uh, which is just JSON at the end of the day. And we can do this JSON text manipulation that updates the underlying operating system layers from the old layers to the new layers. And you're able to safely do this if you're using an operating system that makes ABI compatibility guarantees uh, between operating system image updates. So this allows us to do essentially a lift and shift that we take our existing application layers, move them on top of the new operating system layers, uh, and we get an entirely new OCI image at the end. And not only for the updates themselves, but actually rolling this out um, is significantly more efficient. Assuming you're going to deploy this to uh, the same node groups that have uh, those layers, those application layers pre-cached, 
these application digest layers aren't changing at all. And so the only thing you have to roll out and push to all your nodes are the operating system layers that have changed. And so this allows us to deal with critical CVEs uh, simply more efficiently, um, both in the rebase as well as rolling out. Now, this all sounds great. How do you get started uh, with build packs? The easiest way to do that is to use the pack CLI, which is a local CLI platform. Um, that's maintained by the project. And it works with uh, a local container um, platform like your Docker or Podman. And you can, uh, once you have installed, run a pack build. Um, and then you get that OCI image like we've been talking about at the end of the day. And so that OCI image is just an OCI image. And so you can Docker run it. You can push it to an OCI registry to have it uh, run somewhere else. Um, and you can also even inherit it from a Docker file itself. If you want to kind of move beyond that local experience, uh, we have a bunch of other um, build pack platforms out there. Uh, there's Kubernetes operator that's part of the project called KPAC. Uh, all the way to um, inside the Spring Boot framework, uh, you can just build production grade Java images uh, with that Java tool chain itself. Uh, that's all I had here today. If you're interested in learning more, you can head to the Build Packs IO website where we have documentation and examples of how to get started with Build Packs. Uh, we can find us on the Cloud Native Computing Foundation Slack under the Build Packs channel and on GitHub under the Build Packs organization. Uh, feel free to open an, an issue. And looking forward to interacting with all of you. Um, thank you.